rainfall modification is a, an interesting and vitally important part of the uh, future of the world and we should look carefully and critically at every possibility. Well, water's essential to the world as we know it and, and we're running out of it. If you sort of look at water in the world, which is, you know, I mean, it's probably the crisis point of the future. And everybody's seen clouds pass by and why isn't it dropping down on, you know, why, why are we missing out? It's true that there is an increase in the amount of drought uh, in the world, generally speaking. In Australia we've noticed it, in other parts of the world, in Africa there are really bad droughts at the moment. It's incredibly different from, from throughout the world. In the developed world and in urban environments, you know, you can recycle water, you can put in desalinization plants. And in, in the developed countries, you can reline irrigation channels, you know, build new dams if you have to. But there's all sorts of options that you can think about. There's an enormous quantity of fresh water, or resource of fresh water in the atmosphere that goes largely untapped. A typical thunderstorm cloud, for example, can hold anywhere between one and eight gigalitres of water. That's the equivalent of approximately four to five Olympic stadiums full of water. A typical cloud only ever dispenses something like between 10 and 20% of the water that it actually holds. So I think it's just quite obvious that we should be looking to that resource to increase our fresh water supplies on Earth. And our trials have shown that the Atlant technology may be able to do just that. The Atlant technology is a, the sort of breakthrough that's required. The old heavy engineering, high environmental footprint technologies aren't going to cut it. The trouble is how do you actually know that you can make it rain? And I was very fortunate uh, to have, through a Bear and Along Association, uh, a statistician named Ray Chambers, and I put this problem to him, and they were fascinated, you know, they said, you can have, let's, let's have a hard look at this. It involves uh, a number of interesting statistical issues, uh, which drive some of my research, and also which have implications, uh, certainly outside statistics, uh, and more generally for our life in Australia. Well, the technology itself is a ground-based ionisation system. You introduce uh, a lot of negatively charged ions. You do the introduction in a place where the airflow will blow them up into the clouds. You hope that they will get mixed in with a lot of neutral droplets uh, and that the neutral droplets will coalesce with the charged ones and that could produce uh, extra rainfall. Now, there are two approaches to, uh, to examining that. One is to look very, very carefully at the science, but that's a very expensive, long-range scientific program. The other method is to uh, try it and see. We've now spent five years putting together a world-class scientific and econometric team, an independent scientific reference panel to rigorously demonstrate the efficacy of this technology. One thing to come out of our trials is a breakthrough in statistical science, you know, which is very exciting. We fit a statistic, statistical model uh, to the data we see. Our analysis allowed for this spatiotemporal correlation uh, in the data in order to uh, ensure that we didn't overstate uh, the, uh, the significance uh, of the Atlant effect. So this actual analysis by the statisticians involved building in all sorts of uh, data about the position of the rain gauges, about the meteorological data that was measured at the airport and so on. And they came to the conclusion that there was a positive effect. What was observed 
was that there was a similar effect, uh, the order of about a 10% increase in rainfall. A 10% increase in rainfall you know, is the difference between you know, a bad year and a manageable year, and a manageable year and a great year. It's, it's, it's transformational in, if it's at the right time and the right place. You may not be able to make the rainfall during the dry season, but you might be able to store a lot of water from an earlier season so that you had it there to use. And you know, there's a massive amount of science that's available to look at this, and it's really no cost. I mean, compared to the benefits, why wouldn't you have a look at this? Three successive trials in Adelaide have now shown statistically significant enhancement of around 10%. And to get a good result out of that last one, you know, with good technique, good control, good oversight, each one was an improvement over the last one. And to get, you know, consistent results. Not one of them would be called definitive, but when you start adding them up together, you say, you know, there's something happening here. You know? And I think the message from that is, can you really afford to ignore this? So the Atlant technology, um, if it was going to rain, the Atlant technology will make it rain harder. And in particular, in areas where that rainfall is needed. If you don't take this opportunity, you're giving away a chance to make it just that little bit easier to deal with probably the world's most precious resource. Thank <laughs> you.